In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to format a hard drive to use on both your Mac and your Windows-based PC. So I've just plugged in our brand new Western Digital My Passport hard drive, and my next step is to go into my hard drive, and we need to go to the Applications folder, and then inside the Applications folder, let's scroll all the way down till we get to what's called Utilities. Once we're inside the Utilities folder, we're looking for an application called Disk Utility. Now I'm going to double click on Disk Utility, and this is going to scan my computer for all hard drives that are internal or are plugged in via USB or Firewire. Here I can see my brand new external 1TB Western Digital Drive, and this is the main directory right here when I click on the top version of the name and you can see that we have different options. We can erase, partition, restore, but what we want to do is actually click right here where it says My Passport on the drive, and then down here, let's take a look at the format information. We can see that out of the box from the retailer, in other words, where you went to the store and bought it or you ordered it online, you can see that the drive is already formatted for Windows NT file system. So that means that this hard drive is only going to be read only on the Mac. And how do I know that it's going to be read only? Well, if I try to copy a file to this hard drive, it's going to tell me that I can't copy it. So if I select the drive and I hold down Command and press I, this opens up our information. And down here under Sharing and Permissions, you can see that it says you can only read. All right, so now let's make it so that we can copy files to this hard drive on both Mac and PC. So what we're going to do once again is make sure that we have it selected right here under My Passport. I'm going to click on Erase. And right here under Erase, notice where it says Format. I'm going to click and hold down. And notice on this menu I have a lot of choices. But if I want this hard drive to work on my Windows and my Mac-based system, we're going to choose what's called MS-DOS FAT. Okay, and then I want to give the drive a name for right now. I'll just leave it as my passport. We could rename the drive at any time. And I'm going to click on erase. Now, when I click erase, it's going to erase everything on the disk. So make sure that you have backed up your hard drive before you do this. Let's click on erase. It's saying, are you sure? Yep, we're sure. Let's click erase. And now it's going to erase the volume. And there we go. Here's our drive. So now when we double click on it, we should be able to copy files over to it no problem. You can see that the drive is empty because we erased it and formatted it. And then if we go back and select the drive and we hold down Command and press I, you can see now here under Sharing and Permissions, it says that you can read and write to your hard drive. Okay, so that concludes this quick tutorial on formatting a hard drive to work on both Mac and Windows-based PCs.